Hey guys, how you doing? It's Martin Crumlish here, Bertrand's partner on Uzine, and thanks very much for coming to our JV site. What I'm going to do in this video is give you a quick demo of the software, show you some of our features, and just give you an overview before you go in and have a play around yourself with your, your JV account. So this is the Uzine dashboard. Um, some of you may have seen Uzine version 1, which launched in February last year. We have uh, over 15,000 paying customers on that, so we've refined the app a lot based on user feedback, surveys and all sorts of really valuable data. So you know that Usine 2.0 is absolute tier one top drawer stuff. All the all the features and things are what the market have been crying out for and we're very proud to release those now. So here's the dashboard. You log in. People can or it's got a dashboard of all the designs you have saved here. First of all there's like a little group folder for each folder you've made. You can make folders here on the left. So in this account we've got actual real graphics from promos and things so here's one that uh, Bertrand created the other day for just for a, a bonus for smart member we were promoting that um, here's one for it was just a Christmas sale here's one for a bonus product we're, we were making inside the uh, the browser screenshot so you get the idea it gives you it gives you th thumbnails of all your designs and they load it's like lazy loading as you scroll down they will they will uh, load and you can see right away the quality of the stuff that is that is on the on this page here so it's all pretty slick so all your stuff will be saved here and uh, another cool thing I'm not gonna sidetrack out of the demo just yet but there remember there's also a desktop app version I'm in the browser here and there's also a mobile version and your customers get access to all of these so I'm in here now and let's say I want to make a new design I can start from scratch or I can pick a template. So I'm going to go from a template because I want to demonstrate that for you. So you just click select template and we've got all our saved templates in here. There will be over a thousand templates in the app by the time it goes live and we have a full design department, four very talented designers whose sole job is to make designs in our admin system and using. So this isn't going to be a product where they buy it and that's it. This is a platform that's going to keep growing and growing for and it'll keep getting bigger all the time so people will people will stick and they won't be refunding so I'll just give you an outline of the different template types at the minute we've got uh, a post image and you, you can have a custom image size we've got a Facebook image categories here we've got three Facebook ad sizes and cover photo designer we've got Twitter covers using channel graphics Google Plus headers Pinterest images and there are two types of that they've got pins and board covers we've got web banners we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight types of banner template. Comp cards, these are like for printing things and cardboard for displays and stores and stuff like that. We've got a load of print designs, just like an offline angle here. We've got business cards, coupons, flyers, two sizes of flyers, gift certificates, loyalty cards, postcards, and we've got Kindle covers, ebook covers, infographics, video graphics, and headers. So all of those categories of templates now. In the front end of Usain, users will get a set amount of templates and the upsell will be a huge, huge package of 1,000 additional templates delivered right away, instantly after they buy. So that is going to be very high converting. So now let's say you want to go in and you want to make a Facebook ad. So you just click Facebook ad large and it loads up some of the templates. Now there's a, there are loads more templates in our development site, which you can't see yet. They're all going to be in here now. So let's say you want to use this one, you just click use, dialog pops up, goes into the app itself, the design app where you can create everything and you give it a name, you simply save that, now you're in the app itself. Now I can't really do justice just by showing you in this video, you can only really see how powerful and flexible using is by logging into a JV account yourself and just making some graphics or getting what your VA to to make them but I, I, I strongly encourage you to use this and start using it in your promotions and things you do so if you want to edit anything you just click on it and you can move it around you can resize it so I've selected a background photo now let's say I want to make it Instagrammy looking so I can go over here and we'll see one of our options on the, on the left we've got all the different options we've got filters so let's say I want to make it black and white just click that or all these other filter styles so you, you can see how the cool effects it has, that's just the, the filter. We can go back to the original. Now let's say I want to change the layout of something. You can just drag it all around. You can rotate, you can resize, and to edit the text, just double click. And then edit 
text like so. Over in the control panel on the side here you can change the color. You can change the opacity to make it see through you, whatever you want. You can turn the grid off and on so you can see layout stuff better. It's good for Facebook ads and that. You can duplicate layers like so and you can delete them again. Move them backwards and forwards. Undo and redo which is pretty cool. You can undo and redo all the different steps. And then the boxes here again they've got they've got all the same color options and things like that. You can flip things, you can center them, so we can just center it there like so. Click undo it moves back. So it's all very, very powerful and the uh the design elements are all very straightforward. You once once you log in you will see this but fonts, colours, opacity, position, everything that people might want to do can be done very easily inside Design. So now we're going to look at the dashboard or the menu on the left and now we're looking at adding graphics into this. So let's say you wanted to add uh, or change the background. Just click backgrounds and it loads up our background library. Now this is particularly awesome especially for Facebook ads. So we just click it and it adds in the new background like so. Now obviously this isn't really related to the pizza ad but I'm just giving you a demo here. And if we move this backwards now, move it forwards again. Or you can just delete this old one. So there it is now. Now we can get rid of these boxes. This white box. And you know you're just in, you're just clicking in, editing, dragging it around. Change the font over in here. Change the color. So you can see how this would be awesome for pretty much anything. Like anything you're going to be advertising, you can uh, you can create it in here. You've got all the smart guides which will align things as you drag them around. It'll snap them into position. It'll centrally align them, bottom align them, all that kind of stuff. So you get you get the idea. Now let's say I uh, don't like that background. Want to use a different one? Just go over, click background, and there you go. Obviously, it doesn't look as good, but uh, you get the idea. So that's that's some of the template stuff. Next thing is we have image categories for these kind of icon images. And to add anything, you just click it; it drops into position. So I'm going to jump out here for a second and make a different type of template now. Um, I'll show you actually the image from scratch. We'll do one from scratch, then I'll show you some more templates. So we just click New Design, and here are all the new image template sizes. So we got a post image is for a Facebook post. A new from image will let you upload an existing image and then just edit it in there. Custom size, obviously you can edit them to any size you want. Uh, Facebook, Twitter cover, YouTube channel, Google headers, Pinterest, Kindle, prints, comp cards, web banners. I covered these already. So let's say you want to make something cool for video. So you just click into video. And it's got the right default video size. And you notice what came up there now. It said there was unsafe work from the last session. This works just like a desktop app in the browser. It say it knows when there are work there's work you didn't save and it can retrieve work. It can undo, redo, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna go in here now and click the business category and we'll see some of the business graphics. So we'll use this this one of hands here, so we we'll put that into position. And go for a shopping cart icon and we'll make that small. Now we're gonna pick a background for this image, so I'm gonna click on backgrounds again and I'm going to find find something I think looks cool. We'll go for this one. Put it to the back. Now we can make this handshake thing appear like it's just inside the screen. And you can use the arrow keys to nudge this around so it's all positioned exactly as well. So you might want to make this look like the screen's white behind it. So what we're going to do now is go to shape tool and get rectangle and resize that down to the size we need. I'm going to make it white or whatever color you want. Let's make it white for this demo. And now we're just going to move it back down the layers. So there it is now behind the behind this. 
uh, for the fine adjustments that I'm doing now, you can also click on the zoom tool here on the side, and you can zoom in so you have full control, just like you would in Photoshop or some desktop software like that. And, and you can keep working on it down until you get it all looking looking precise. So we have this little shop icon now. Let's say we want to add a button. Click on the buttons tab here. And we've got a huge number of buttons as well. And adding adding to this all the time. So we'll just click. We'll go for this green one here. We've got to size that down. So we'll size it down. Let's put it below the icon here. We we'll make the little shopping icon go forward, and we will also make that smaller. So when I'm doing this, you can be thinking this isn't just a design app for a particular type of design. Like it's not just for Facebook ads, or it's not just for something. You know, it's for everything. Any design work that you need to do, you can do it with this. And you notice here now that I might mean, I could accidentally move this background by mistake. So when, instead of that. I can just click the lock icon here, and now I can't move it, so it's not going to mess up my design. Um, everything's going to work properly in that position, so it's pretty cool. We'll zoom back out now, and let's say we want to add some web elements, so we'll go in here and we'll see what we have. Shopping cart, now we'll just leave those. We'll go to, let me see what else. Everyday objects is the right kind of style. I'll we'll just click this one to stick it in. Put it up the top here, and now we want to add a solid kind of a bar behind this. So we'll go back to shapes. Where are we? Shapes, and we'll go for the, the rectangle again. We'll just make it just the right size. Something that'll get people's attention. We'll go for a nice kind of a flat green style color. And we'll go for we'll go for a red color. And we move this back. And we've got a little icon now ahead of it. So you could when I'm doing this you could imagine you could be doing this could be Facebook covers, it could be any design at all you want. It's great too when you're on the go because you have the the various mobile apps to log in and do stuff, but you also, it's, because it's browser based, you don't have to be at your PC with Photoshop or anything like that, which is a big, a big uh, plus. It's, it's one of the ways we use it. So you're going to go for, go for sub headline, drag it into position, make it smaller. And we'll make the text white. And we'll go for one of these different fonts. We'll go for a, a sans serif font. You can see the font categories we have here as well. It's all pretty cool. We'll go for this code light font. So yeah, just some, uh, I'm just messing about here, not making anything in particular, but it's giving you an idea. Now let's say we wanted to to start from scratch, change the image size now while we're doing this. We just enter those and hit return and it changes the whole image size so we can we can start we can delete all this and just start over again if we want. Which I've just done now. So now let's say you want to make a completely different type of image. This is this is pretty cool. We've integration with over one million different uh different images, I think it's 1.3 million, including Stock Unlimited, and this is a, a paid deal we did with this this company. If people go to Stock Unlimited, uh, they have to pay to sign up to use it. We've got free integration inside Usain, so let's say, um, let's go for, let's search for something random, prize, let's see what comes up. So say you've got a, an affiliate contest, you want some graphics for it, so we don't want that one. We just grabbed. Uh, just stick this one in here. But the point being, it's just uh, directly, directly added from that integration. Or if you want to go to go for Pixabay, and let's say you're making some kind of a inspirationally style design. So we'll go for just type in beach, hit return, and you get all these images right at your fingertips, just one click away from being added. So. Let's go for, we'll change it to tropical, let's see what we can get for that. 
So if you're putting like a mastermind or something, if your squeeze page, there you go. You've got the got the graphics in position. We also have icon finder. So if you want to add some icons, like social icons, it's all just one click away again. So you just click on it on the left, and it loads it in all automatically. You don't have to leave Uzign for anything. And to be honest, the pretty much all our design work done is done now in Uzign without having to leave the app at all. So it really is pretty, pretty powerful. It's, it's. Uh, there's nothing else out there like it, as good as this. So if you, you can get a, the idea there now of some of the options here on the left hand side. Let's go back out to the home page. I'm going to show you some more of the templates now. I'm not going to show you all of them because we've got, we're going to have over a thousand. But uh, you click select template again, and we're going to go for one of the ebook ones because I want to demonstrate that for you. Now there are loads of ebook cover apps which people have sold and people buy them but that's just like a subset of Uzine because Uzine has that has an e-cover creator built in so in fact it's, it's it replaces the need for apps like that so let's say we want to use this one we just click use these are perfect for like lead magnets and things like that things that uh, things that can get people to opt in, build your list, etc. So th there it is, it's all editable, it can be all moved around, add the text, all these icons and things are from directly from our integrations. But if you go up to the top now and just click preview, you see we've got here, we've got all these different styles of cover that people can immediately download. Now we've got a few book ones, we're adding a lot more, so this is just the start of this feature and it's very, very cool. People, If you demonstrate this to people on a video, do a webinar or whatever, They'd be blown away. They'd be thinking, "Hey, I bought an app that does just does just covers, but now I could get using that does covers and everything else." So, very very cool. Something that's pretty very popular with our users so far. I'm going to jump back out to the templates again now and show you one last feature, um, and then you can find out the rest yourself when you're playing around. But um, is it, I, could, I could be on here for hours showing you stuff. There's so there are so many features that we've we've crammed into this app. You'd see here we've got. Tags we can we've also tagged images and we're adding ones for specific things that are in our area of business. So we've got ones here for click funnels. If we click that and click search, we've got a whole load of like internet marketing style images and things here like buy buttons and guarantees and uh, this here's a lead magnet thing. So check that out. E cover bonuses, huge huge number of templates. It goes on and on and on literally it keeps loading as you scroll down so you'll get an idea for this once you go in yourself another one we have here is lead magnets so the kind of thing you always see in digital marketer getting people to sign up to your list these look pretty slick we're adding loads more as well so that's an overview of just some of what's inside click funnels the last point i want to make is we We'll soon have direct integration with some very big players in the market. I can't give the names yet, but we do. Some that I can name are Smart Member. We have integration with that. It's going to be released very soon. Uh, social Surveys and loads more. So if you just check out the rest of the JV page, you'll see details of our $20,000 contest and all the extra contests we're going to be running throughout the launch. You've got details of our funnel. We have a very, very tight funnel based on real user data we think it's going to convert very well based on what past customers have told us they want and uh, 